Hey everyone, good morning. It's Tuesday. It's a grey day. Um, Louis is nice and quiet up here right now, so I'm going to just stay up here for a bit. He's asleep. Ash has gone to work. I'm not going to see much of Ash now because she's at work. And then she gets home. She's going to be packing and getting all this stuff ready for leaving first thing in the morning for her little business trip. Pete's been on business trips, I've been on business trips, but Ash has never been on one. <laughs> it's kind of weird. She'll be gone until just till Thursday night. Then she's told me last night she's going out Thursday night with friends. And then Friday morning she's back at work bright and early. Well, not too early, but 11. So she'll leave here at 10, has to get up and all that. So yeah, she's got a busy week. And then she has the weekend off, which is very nice. Um, my aunt sent me a note last night saying that she'd seen mum and what the consultant said. I looked up and it's a scary thing. It's um, something that's fighting mum's liver and kidneys and it's scary. I'm like more sick to my stomach now and I can't get hold of mum at all. Every time I ring the mobile phone it goes to her voicemail and the nurses don't pick up or it just rings busy. So I'm really heavily relying on friends and family visiting and telling me, well friends won't tell me what it is but my aunt promised me she'd stay up to date and I said to her I looked that up and it kind of scares me and she said don't be worried the consultant said we're going to take good care of her we'll get her well but you know finding out little things and everything my aunt told me is mentioned in this article I went on like all these different websites which I, I never do for myself because it freaks me out too much but I just hope my mum is doing okay it explains the pain poor mum don't leave it too long next time mum if you ever see this vlog don't and what I mean by that was she might not go back and watch everything from she's gonna be very overwhelmed and when she does finally come home she needs to relax and uh, what have you I they're saying three to four days of her coming home we'll see we'll see I guess it's uh, see how the antibiotics work and stuff just gonna absorb it wait to hear from my brother or my aunt I'm sure my aunt will go again today. Uh, another lady told me that some of her co-workers are going up today to visit her. I may have already been. Is it 11? So it's 4 over there. I don't know if they're going at lunchtime or after work or what. But um, yeah. And, oh, and then my mum's neighbour, he said he's going back again on Tuesday. The guy that sent me, the one that took her to the hospital in the first place. Thank goodness she has great neighbours. Thank goodness! There's a lot to do with your neighbours, you know. There's a lot to do with having people you can trust and like. Anyway, I'm going to sit now for a little bit and, uh, like I said, while Louis is quiet, I'm going to take advantage. like having a baby who's napping. You relax a bit because once he's up and about, he's, he's having to go out every hour at the moment. <sighs> Louis worries me a lot. Anyway, we'll talk to you soon. I ordered a couple of things from the new line. I didn't do a lot right now because I wasn't thinking that straight when I ordered. Um, and one of the new items is Korean barbecue slow cooker sauce mix. I thought this would be in a jar, but it's not. But it does, um, it's got two packets in it, I believe, yeah. Two packets. And... Hmm. Use one packet, add half a cup of applesauce and one and a half flank steak. Can't wait to try that one. This, I'm so excited this has come back or it's a newer version, I'm not sure. Savory wild mushroom slow cooker mix. Love it. And then I ordered a hay garlic stir fry sauce. Excited about that. Mum's favourite taco seasoning. So look, this, you buy one of these and you use and use and use and use it. You get a lot for your money. Philly cheesesteak warm dip mix. Who doesn't like a warm dip mix on a cold night? And taste me simple pumpkin pie latte mix. Now I'm not a pumpkin pie kind of person. Oh, and then I got my books. I earned a badge for May. I'm not a pumpkin pie person, but I do like their um, pumpkin spice lattes at, where is it? Starbucks which starts coming out on September 1st. Uh, so I figured I'd give this one a try and see what it's like. My ice maker is going crazy. You're going to hear a noise in a minute because I've got to shake it. The 
ice gets stuck and then it stops producing. So that's not fun. Oh look, I've got purple in my hair by the looks of it. What is with my hair? It is getting lighter, so I'm not going to worry about oh, some piece of ice is jamming it. Come on. You can do it. I um, don't know what to do for dinner tonight. I was hoping I was going to run out and get a roast beef to put in the slow cooker with that, but Ash won't eat that anyway. Um, the next two nights she won't be here, or the next one night she won't be here, and the next night she'll be home, but she'll be going out. Um, so I might do it tomorrow night, I'll go out and get one tomorrow and put it in the slow cooker. I'm going to make either a cheese and tomato sandwich or a cheese and onion, I'm not sure which. No eggs, all my eggs are gone. Ketchup, I've gone through three ketchups from Costco in like a month. But there again, we all love ketchup, well, I say we all, Ash and I use it. We even dunk our steak in it, much to Pete's disgust, but yeah, I do like me ketchup. And I need to go get some more. Right, I think I'm gonna do a cheese and tomato. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I'm gonna make that. Take it upstairs. Ashley put on her eBay store yesterday, she put about 25 new candles or 22 new candles, something like that. So when I say new, I mean some of them are, she's had and she's selling. They're not like new out this year, but a lot of the scents are exactly the same. They just changed the packaging. And um, some of them people look, I've had people ask me for the older ones over the new pictures, so. Yeah, so she's done that, and as always, our eBay names are down in the description, always, so if you want to take a look, because I know a couple have asked me now. The only thing is we can't ship candles out of the country because it costs an arm and a leg, and it's ridiculous. And I wouldn't pay that, and I wouldn't ask anyone else. It's more than the candle's worth to ship it, So it's because they're so heavy. They need to do something about that, don't they? Anyway, I need to go make something to eat because I'm hungry and it's coming up to one o'clock, I think. We switched the mattress around and uh, just changed the sheets. Got a bunch of laundry folded and put away. I'm just washing makeup brushes because she's got to take makeup brushes with her for tomorrow. And Pete's run over to speak to his sister, so... Whew! Out of breath now. Hi! Oh, wow! <laughs> yes. Um, Pete just got back, so we just ate. It is 22 minutes past 10. And uh, Ash is now packing, getting all her stuff ready tomorrow for tomorrow. She's going to be leaving around 8. I, at some point, hopefully will go out to the grocery store because we're out of bread and eggs and ketchup. Not good, because I can't have eggs on toast with ketchup. Uh, yeah, Louis having a drink now, so he's making noise. But anyway, guys, I hope you've all had a brilliant, brilliant Tuesday. Whatever you guys did today, I hope it was a good one, and we will definitely see you.